Peter Davison, who you probably know as the voice of the narrator of the planetarium in that one episode of Sherlock, or as the otherwise forgettable doctor who followed Tom Baker in the Doctor Who series, has gone on record as stating that he does not think that the doctor should ever regenerate as a woman. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the Doctor Who series, allow me to tell you that once every couple of years, the main character, who is an alien, will die and magically regenerate as a completely different actor. And each time he regenerates, he always has two hearts and apparently one penis, although the latter is never really explicitly mentioned, nor do I think it's ever been used, so it's definitely possible that some previous iteration of the Doctor actually was a woman, albeit one that did not adhere to traditional gender roles. Davison gives several reasons why he thinks so strongly that the Doctor can never be a woman. Number one, he says that he believes that if you're born on Gallifrey a man, then you just stay a man forever. This is patently untrue, at least within the context of the show itself, uh, because the Doctor's nemesis has regenerated as both a man and a woman. Also, we are talking about a children's show which features bad guys like self-aware blobs of human fat tissue and uh, ridiculous time travel plots that make no sense and are explained away with nonsensical words like timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly. So I feel like in the face of all of those other weirdnesses about the show, the show could easily handle a doctor who occasionally wears a skirt. Davison's other point is that the doctor is always portrayed as being uh, flawed, while the companion is always the strong one. And so if you made the doctor a woman and the companion a man, then you would just be having a show that is stereotypically about a weak female and a strong male. Uh, this is a really uh, dumb point. Because, first of all, nobody ever said that the companion to the hypothetical female doctor would have to be a guy. There have been male companions. There have even been robot dog companions. And there's no rule saying that every doctor companion relationship needs to be a stereotypically heterosexual fantasy. Second of all, we need to quit the unimaginative BS that says that the only women who can be on TV need to be these strong, perfect characters. No, equality means having protagonists who are flawed and interesting and still heroic, regardless of their gender. Going with stereotypes would mean having a male protagonist who is flawed and interesting, but constantly rescues his younger, weak, nubile companion, which would be like every other episode of Doctor Who. So do I think that the next Doctor should be a woman? I'll be honest, I don't really care. Uh, I haven't even watched the last season because I got so bored with the show. If they were to really shake things up, which would include having a Doctor who is not a white male again, uh, I might tune in again. That might be interesting. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Peter Capaldi, but unless he's telling the villain of the week that he's about as useless as a marzipan dildo, I'm not interested.